Hey guys, I am so excited to make this video because I've been such a huge fan of Doc Martens for so long. So I've owned these pair of Doc Martens for 10 years now and you can tell they're really beat up but I still love these so much. And I got another pair of Doc Martens yesterday. These are the 1461 Bex Derby style and I cannot wait to start wearing these. I already have so many outfit ideas in my head. In this video, I'll be explaining why I decided to go with this style versus all the other styles and what I love about them. I'll give you some info on what you need to know before you buy them, my overall thoughts about the fit, the quality, etc, etc, and pretty much everything you need to know about these shoes. I'm also working on another video on how to style these and show you some outfit inspirations. So subscribe to my channel because you really don't want to miss out on that next video. Don't forget to like my video because it really helps with the algorithm. So first and foremost, I want to start this video by saying these are not the shoes I originally wanted to buy. These are the shoes I ended up settling with. <laughs> so I really do love these shoes. I think they're so cute. But originally, I had my heart on something else. I wanted the Prada leather lace-up shoes. They are super popular right now, and I think everyone is familiar with these. But just in case you're not, I'll post a picture of them right over here somewhere. <laughs> I just fell in love with the style of these boots. I love how chunky the boots are. I love the thick rubber soles. I love the lacing in the front. Um, I really like the round toe. I've been thinking about getting them for at least like a year or so, but I just couldn't bring myself to pay $950 for them. They are really, really expensive. So after doing some extensive research, I came across these 1461 Bex Derby Doc Martin shoes. Now, I'm not saying these are the exact same shoes as a product because obviously they're not, but they're both black. They have a similar round toe shape. Um, they're definitely chunky and they have this like raised platform. The ankle is kind of the same height. It's lace. And the best part is this is only $130 and I understand $130 is not necessarily cheap. It's still expensive, but compared to the $950 Prada shoes, these are a lot cheaper. I'm getting the essence of the Prada shoes, but at a much better price. So I'm super happy with that. I'm genuinely curious what everyone is wearing. So leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite Doc Martin style is, or it doesn't have to be Doc Martin, just your favorite boot style. There are other brands that make this similar style with the low ankle, the lace, but the reason why I decided to go with these Doc Martens versus another brand is because I think Doc Martens is a very reputable brand. Like, I've owned these Doc Martens for 10 years. It's a classic and I know it's such great quality. I still wear them till this day. I've owned these for 10 years, people. 10 years. I really can't say that about anything else that I own. So when I make purchases, I try to think long term. I know if I'm going to buy Doc Martens, it's going to be good quality and that I'm going to have it for a very, very long time. I love how this style just adds a few inches to my height. I'm 5'5", five five, um, and anything that makes me a little bit taller, I get really excited about. <laughs> These Doc Martens do feel really, really stiff on my feet. There is no flexibility when it comes to the toe here, like none. So it's definitely important to wear socks with these because the leather around the ankle is definitely going to dig into your skin. I can show you just how stiff this leather is. It's going to definitely dig into your skin if you don't wear socks. But I actually don't mind because I think this style would look super cute with socks. So I'm actually really excited to buy some like frilly socks to go with them or like some colorful socks or socks with patterns on them. 
So Doc Martens are pretty easy to buy. You can find these at Urban Outfitters, at ASOS, Journeys, Nordstrom's. I bought mine on Essence.com. Because we're going through COVID right now, I thought it was better for me to get them from like an online retailer. I also chose Essence because they have a really wide variety of Doc Martens styles and I think they do a really good job at creating like a nice collection. I love all the styles they've chosen for their site. Um, I've also purchased from them before and I've had a really good experience with shipping. The shipping is super, super fast. I don't know how they do it. And the customer service has also been really good. Keep in mind that Doc Martens only comes in full sizes. So depending on where you're looking to buy your Doc Martens, um, the sizes are either listed in US, UK, or Italian sizes. In the US size, I'm six and a half, and since they don't carry half sizes, I went down to a six. I think Doc Martens tends to run a little bit big, so I always size like a half size down, and it fits me perfectly. On the Essence website, um, I'm a 36 because their sizes are shown in Italian sizes. So I'm a 36 and it was just perfect for me. So when you first wear these, something to keep in mind is that they do take a while to break in. So I would avoid wearing these if I knew I would be walking a lot. So I, I'll probably start by just wearing them around the house and trying to break them in. Um, or if I was like just running down the street to get coffee or something, I would wear them. No more than like one or two hours. Like I wouldn't wear them to go to a festival or if I knew I was gonna be walking a lot, I probably just wouldn't wear them because they're gonna definitely give me some blisters and I'm gonna have a bad experience wearing them and then, yeah, and I'll never wanna wear them again. I've seen some really wild tips on how to break these in, such as like putting them in the freezer or using a blow dryer, um, showering with them. Personally, I wouldn't try any of these methods because you're gonna risk ruining your shoes. So just be patient and break them in slowly. I'm really excited to put some cute fall outfits together with these Doc Martens and I can't wait to show you in my next video. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really helps with the algorithm and you don't want to miss out on that video. Thanks for watching.